at IRI. Before we get to the next match and preview it, we want to give a shout out. Heard that Frank Merrick is watching us back in Manchester. Hi, Frank. We wish that we could have you here. We'll have you here next year, though, hopefully. Start thinking about what song you want to lip sync to because we'll get you in the lip sync battle if you can make it to Indiana Absolutely. for IRI next year. All right, next up, two versus eight. First up, number two seed in red. What do you expect to see? Um, they're going to try to polish. Polish would probably be the name of their game for this match. They missed their auto last time, but they still scored all of their recycling containers. But two of their stacks were sitting on a tether and didn't count. So their driver's meeting should be all about polishing and doing the little things right. Absolutely. And on the blue side, we saw the previous high score, 324 out of blue. The Taters came all the way from Idaho, and they were on their game. They were grade A. We expect to see the same thing out of the number eight seed, I think. I'm calling this eight seed the dark horse of the event. Taters is on fire. They had some consistency issues early in their tournament, but they look to be hitting on all cylinders right now today. All right. Let's see how they do in this next match. Send it back down to Tyler. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to introduce the teams for quarterfinal number seven, featuring our number two seed in red, number eight seed in blue. Let's find out who our contestants are starting out. Give it up for 10, 20, 3. Out of Temperance, Michigan, it's the Bedford Express. The Alliance Captain, it's 2056. From Stony Creek, Ontario, OP Robotics. And let's call them in, 1806. Out of Smithville, Missouri, it's SWAT. They might be the AC, but they got the highest average right now. Let's see if they can build upon it. Alliance got this 2338. From Oswego, Illinois, get it forward. Join by the power of 107. Out of Holland, Michigan, Team Robotics. And can we say value pick 2122 out of Boise, Idaho, Team Taters. We have a green light. Let's check in. Drivers behind the line, ready. Quarterfinal number seven in three, two, one, rush. All right, here we go. It's uh, autonomous. Both alliances pulling over those two containers. Gear it forward. Do it for blue. OP Robotics do it for red. Meanwhile, Bedford Express 1023 on the red side, grabbing a stack of three totes, yellow ones, and pop, putting those over as well. That's 20 bonus points for the Red Alliance. We enter into teleoperator mode. Drivers now have control of the robots. Everybody's moving. The sounds of a loud factory going on here with people stacking those totes. Here comes the first stack dropped off by the taters over on blue, but right after it, Bedford Express does it for red. And here comes one by SWAT and OP on the red side as well. So three stacks over for red, one for blue. Here's a second one by Team Robotics on the blue side as well, and they do it. There was a little wobble for a second, but they got it. A virtual factory going on over on the red side with SWAT. Goes down that conveyor belt, and they feed their stacker coming from the human player. 1806 does that over on red. It looks impressive to watch. Four stacks on the blue side now. Five over on red. OP Robotics picking them up out of the landfill. They've got a stack of five. Now it's a stack of six. They're going to put up another one on the red scoring platform. Meanwhile, another stack put on the blue scoring platform. A sixth one by Team Tater. But that one's only four high. So we've got one, two, eight stacks over on the red side. Six Six stacks over on the blue side, and we still got over 20 seconds to go in this match. 
Here comes another one by Garrett Forward. And another one by their partner, Tater Tots. We go under 20 seconds now. 12 seconds remaining. Here's another one over on the blue side by 107. Nothing going on at the end of this match by Red. Five seconds now. Four, three, two, one. Holy guacamole. They ran out of totes, it looks like. Everything that could be scored practically was. There's still a couple miscellaneous ones left. But wow, look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stacks on the red sites. Have not ever seen that before. Five, nine stacks over on the blue side. <laughs> this is insane, folks. <laughs> wow. All right, we've got an official score. What a shocker. We've got a new high score. 343 points for the Red Alliance. 306 for Blue. Not only that, that's the first time we've seen two alliances scoring over 300 at the same time. 343 points for the Red Alliance. And, and the one thing that, that has to be said, we believe this is the first time the score, the average score has actually gone down after a team scored over 300 points. That's crazy. Up to you guys upstairs, Colin and Danny. Holy moly. Okay, so the, the bar keeps getting raised. The red side ran out of totes in the human player station. How did they do it? Honestly, it's hard to say. They were all, they were flying all over the field. Robots were coming and going from the human station about as fast as they could drive. Um, it looks like these elevators are just maxed out in how fast they can go. Um, it just, it was so entertaining to watch. We kind of forgot to take notes. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, on the on the blue side they're still ranked number one but only with only with the 306 there's now two scores higher than them really gonna have to up the game as they move into the semis and into the finals that red side took every tote from behind the human station and every single right side up tote from the landfill that is probably their perfect score and, and all three of the yellow totes and three of the yellow totes with the 20 point autonomous it'll be hard to see if that score can be beat because there's nothing left to score with. Absolutely. Now you're talking about maybe having your human player throw a noodle and, and trying to get something over there. Noodles could decide this tournament. Noodles could absolutely decide the tournament. 